Then you, you push the start button away. Okay, cool. So, rearranging equations. We're going to um, start like with an example one. We're going to try and um, pull together some rules that we can always use. If we start like with the about as easy as it can get, f equals ma, we're going to try and make a the subject. We're going to try and rearrange it for a equals. How, do we, how are we going to go about doing that? Divide M. Divide M. So we're trying to move things away from the A to yeah, leave it by itself. Cool. Divide by M. And we're going to do the same thing on both sides of the equal sign. So divide by M. Divide by M. And M divided by M, what do we do? Just cancel, cancel them out. Nice. And so we're left with A equals F over M. So that's about as easy as it can get. The key, the things we did were move other quantities away from the one we are trying to isolate. Um, we always did the same on both sides of the equal sign. And how do we know to, why did you divide? Because it's um, times by the A. It was times by the A. And dividing, why divide? It undoes. It undoes. So we're trying to, yeah, use the opposite process, maybe, to undo. Use the opposite process to undo. Cool. Easy. Should we go for a slightly harder one? What about if we had the pressure is force over area? What about first of all, if we're trying to make it a force equals? How do we make it force equals? So we're, we're trying to leave the F by itself. We're trying to get rid of the divide by A. The opposite to divide is so times A times A. Those ones cancel, and we're left with F is equal to P times A. So that was pretty easy. What about same equation? P is F over A. Pressure is force divided by area. But what about this time, if we're trying to make it into an A equals? So we, we could do this. So you're saying do times A times A, and that brings us to F is equal to P times A. And then divide. Good. Divide by P, divide by P, and two P's cancel. And so we're left with A is F over P. There is a little trick for that one. If we start with P is F over A, we can do... Sam, I've not seen you pass. Why? Um, we can do this here. It's like a, it's a maths trick, right? It's not legit working, it's a maths trick. We call it drop and swap. So like we're dropping the P down to where the A was and swapping it with where the, where the A is. And so if we just swap the P and the A, we end up with A is equal to F over P. See how that made it easy for us? That was a bit trickier. What about if we go for something that's really, really horrible? What if we go for the EK is half MV squared? What about, let's not make it too horrible to start with. Let's start with trying to make it an M equals equation. How could we make that into an M 
a Poisson equation? What can we do first? Let's, let's, let's pursue the half. Let's think about how we can deal with the half. At the moment, that's half of m v squared. What's of mean in maths? Times. It means times. So we've already got half times. We could divide by a half. What's the opposite of a half? Cut something in half, how many halves have you got? Two. What's the opposite? One. Two. Times by two. So the easiest way of dealing with the half is to times by two. It's like putting a two on the top. Look, two over two just cancels. And so we're left with two ek is mv squared. What's the next step to leave the m behind? Square root of v? Do we need to square root the v? No. Divide. We so just, v squared. We just need to divide both sides by v squared to get rid of it. Because we don't mind if it stays as a v squared, we just want to get rid of it. Those two cancel each other. And so we're left with n is 2 e k over v squared. And so that's, that's the second to worst one. The very worst one, same equation, but we're going to try and find the V. This is as bad as it gets, right? Trying to make it V equals. What's the first thing we're going to do? Times by 2 to get rid of the, the half. Cool. So times 2 times 2. That cancels that. We're going to rewrite it out. 2ek is mv squared. What's the next thing we have to get rid of? Isn't it the m? We have to get rid of the m. How are we going to do that? Divide m on both sides. And so now we've got 2ek over m is v squared, but we're trying to get v. What do we do? Square root. Square root, both sides. And so the square root cancels the squared, and we're left with v is the square root of 2ek over m. That's as bad as it gets, right? That's the worst one. That's it's not too bad, right? 